What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome to another video for you guys today. Don't really do these a lot, but with the amount of updates that I've seen today, it only feels right that I touch on everything twice because we didn't really get a lot of chance to fully delve into everything on the live stream. So we're going to talk about the Kai Havertz links. We're going to talk about the Mason Mount bid. We're going to talk about all the players that we've been linked with, really. And yeah, before we get into it, as always, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. There's a lot of good news from depending on your perspective of, of everything. There's some bad news in terms of Lukaku, but with everything I've heard about Mount and Havertz and Gallagher, I don't care. I'm not letting Lukaku potentially being at Chelsea ruin my day. I'm not letting it happen. I'm having a great day right now. Everything I've heard has been like music to my ears. And we're going to start off with the Kai Havertz situation. Now, Arsenal have genuine is interest in Kai Havertz. This was reported earlier today. But over the last few hours, it was told that Kai Havertz wants to leave Chelsea. He's told Chelsea that he wants that. Bayern and Manchester City are looking at him as well. Arsenal have serious interest in him. It's been reported by Fabrizio Romano. It's been uh, reported by Ornstein as well. A dumbass didn't get the Ornstein article up. I have it here. Now, Arsenal have made a proposal to sign Kai Havertz. Pursuit is ramped up in recent days. Contra contact with Chelsea and the 24-year-old. So they have spoken to the club now as well. Bayern Munich is also keen. Two years left to Chelsea. Ideally want to renew and sell. And this was reported earlier as well. Chelsea want Havertz to extend this summer or they will sell him. And the way things are looking, it looks more likely that Kai Havertz is going to leave. He's interested in Real Madrid. It was reported that that was his dream move. But the fact that he's also keen on Arsenal just tells me that he's just signed out and he wants to leave and he's mentally checked out. And personally, he's looked like that on a football pitch for the last four or for the last three seasons. So that doesn't make any difference to me at all. I'm just glad that there is a string of clubs interested in this player. Because this says to me, we can sell him for maximum profit. Because this is why Chelsea have the 52 million valuation plus add-ons up to 70 million. Because look at the clubs that are interested. Bayern Munich, Manchester City, um, Arsenal, Real Madrid. And before... Before, like, uh, you have this BS Stan argument where they say, oh, all of these players, all of these big clubs want Kai Havertz, but you don't rate him. You think he's a bum. Well, who does he start for? If, if we really deep it, he doesn't start anywhere in the Arsenal attack. He doesn't start anywhere in the Bayern attack, unless they're probably going to play him up front if Chupa Moting leaves. Um, Madrid, he's not going to start anywhere in that front three. They're literally going for Mbappe and he doesn't bench Vinicius or Rodrigo. Doesn't bench any of the midfielders. They're all using him for depth. So again, like my whole problem with Havertz is that he's not been good enough for us. And all these elite clubs, they want Kai Havertz likely so he can sit on the bench for them. The only position where I've said Kai Havertz is probably good coming off, the bench. So... I have no problems with these big clubs coming in for him. It doesn't say to me, oh, maybe we should keep him. Maybe he is a generational talent and all of that. I don't care. Find me the money. Whatever you do, rob them blind. Show them all the Bayer Leverkusen comps you want. Show them the Champions League final replay in that Dortmund home game from this season. Because they're the only two world-class games he's ever had for us. And get rid of him. Because then, again, all the stands can disappear as well. All the dickheads that have been defending him. And I want to get this point off my chest as well. The amount of abuse that I've personally taken, the amount of criticism, the amount of shit that I've had to take because I don't back these players to fucking high heaven and above like half of this club do. They, people have defended these two individuals more than they have defended the club. They have blamed everything for their failures. They have blamed the players around them. They have blamed managers. They have blamed the club the board, they blame fans, they played everybody to defend them because they all turned up in the Champions League run and all of that. They're proper Chels. Oh, they love the club and all of that shit. Why are they both trying to go to rivals? 
Why was it reported that Mount isn't even leaving strictly because of the wages? That's not just the only reason. It's also because we're out of the Champions League. Partly because of him, by the way. He was one of the most culpable players for why we weren't doing well in the first half of the season. The idiot with his head down, just ignoring runners all the time. Or just overhitting passes. Or underhitting passes. Or just, again, ignoring runners. Or just being invisible for 60 minutes in a game. And he wants to leave for Champions League football because he thinks he's good enough. Maybe if you played like that, we'd actually be in Europe this season. But again, people defended this guy more than the club and he wants to go to a rival because of UCL football and for more money. You lot are dickheads for backing him. Kai Havertz as well. Keen on moving to Arsenal. People said that this is the guy who cares more about Chelsea than anybody in our attack. We should build the team around him. And even though nobody who wants him is signing him to build the team around him, they are signing him so he can be a fucking bench warmer. They are signing him so he can warm the bench. But this is these are the people that get defended to high heaven and above. Kai Havertz is the most minutes for us this season and we finished 12th. Last season, the narrative was, oh, we play so much better so much better when we have Havertz up top compared to Lukaku up top. Why was he not scoring? Why could we beat Norwich 7-0 with Havertz up top? Mount can get a hat-trick and like an assist or two. I think even hudson Doy scored. Havertz got zero GNA and managed to get bullied by the defenders all game. These are the sorts of people that get defended. And they both want to go for rivals. All of you lot who have been overly loyal to these players over the football club, hold that. Hold that. All of the pain of seeing them in another shot, I hope you take it. I don't, I'm not thinking, oh, they're rats, I hate them or anything. No, I've wanted them to leave. The fact that they go to rivals just kind of proves, vindicates me a little bit more that there was no reason to overly defend these lot because all they care about is the money and all they care about is what's better for them over what's better for Chelsea Football Club. So all that does to me, in my opinion, is just vindicate me. I could see Havertz kiss the Arsenal badge, Mount kiss the United badge. I don't care. Let it happen. Let it run. Just let them be gone by the end of the season or by the start of the next season. Conor Gallagher's got linked to Tottenham as well. Postagoglu's a huge fan of him. Brilliant. Get rid of him. Get rid of the entire Bermuda Triangle. Because that the three of them were just so hideous all season. And move on from this roadrunner prototype that we've been trying to keep at Chelsea for the last three seasons. There are tens out there. You can go for a Viega. You could go for Madison. You could go for Shobojai. There are options out there. They're all probably better than the ones we already have. It's a very low bar. It's a very low bar, so please don't cry, don't moan about Mount leaving or Habits leaving. Celebrate when they're gone, because that's exactly what we're going to be doing on, on this channel. The Mount celebration party will be here when we get to Here We Go. Mount did have a £40 million bid rejected um, from Manchester United as well, but that's fine. Like, that's an opening bid. I don't care. Start the negotiations. We're probably going to meet in the middle around 55 or 60. Everyone can go away happy except the Mount Stands and the Minerals FC merchants. And they can all cry in a river and hold that. Don't care about any of them. Whatever happens over the summer, just be patient. I know a lot of people have been complaining that there's been no outgoings yet. The window has only just opened. Relax. Chill. And just let the transfer activity sort itself out. Because this has all already happened in one day. The window's been open for one day. And all of this has already come out. There might even be more news by the time I put this video out. So guys, calma, chill, relax. Celebrate the fact that we're getting rid of these meaty ballers. Oba could potentially be leaving as well. Chelsea want to recoup as much value as they can for him. Um, Ziyech will find a club for him. Pulisic, probably going to go to Italy. Uh, Mendy, God knows, but we're looking to bring in a goalkeeper anyway. I saw Sky Sports report that Kepa might be the number one this season. That is a complete opinion piece because Poch hasn't even spoken to Kepa yet. We are only opening the window and we have said all year that we're looking for a goalkeeper. So there's nothing to worry about at all. Just keep calm, relax and enjoy the fact that we are getting rid of these bums because I can't wait. I cannot wait. Mount, here we go stream. Have a celebration stream.
be there. We're going to be live every single day throughout the transfer window. So don't forget to tune in, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, what else? Check out Chelsea Fan TV as well. Like, subscribe, all of that. And yeah, what a day. What a day. It has only been day one of the transfer window. Can't wait to see what the rest of the window has. Big up everybody that's locked in. Like, subscribe. We are out. Up the Chelsea.